Hello everyone. Welcome to the interview preparation series by YC Owl. In this video, we'll have a look at how to tackle group discussions. So the learning objectives of this video are what is a group discussion, the importance of group discussion, types of group discussion, and the process of group discussion. Further, we'll also have a look at the evaluation criteria of group discussion, preparation of group discussion, do's and don'ts in a group discussion, and frequently asked questions around group discussions. So what is a group discussion? Group discussion is essentially a verbally oriented process where participants have to talk their way out. It is a technique or method used for screening candidates as well as testing their potential. It is often called a leaderless discussion as it aims to find out the national leadership level of candidates. It is used as a tool to assess candidates in a group at one go in order to select the best in comparative perspective. Now let's have a look at the difference between a group discussion and public speaking. So group discussion is ma mainly a many to many situation, whereas public speaking is one to many. Group discussion is not a solo performance. Apart from the individual's view, views of the entire group matter in a group discussion. All the members participate and one has to listen to the views of the other members. So what is the importance of a group discussion? Looking at recruitment processes, group discussions have today become an inevitable part of recruitment process. It measures certain attributes of candidates that are otherwise difficult to identify and are time consuming. Looking at the admissions to B schools, Group discussions are an important part of the shortlisting process for admissions to B-School as working with groups is one of the most important parameters of success of a manager. A number of people who can usually communicate well in one-to-one -one situations become tongue-tied in a group situation. Group discussions help in identifying people who have such communication skills and people who do not possess, possess such group communication skills. More often than not, it helps the group reach a decision and solve a particular problem. It helps understand a subject more deeply and improves the ability to think critically. It improves listening skills and also gives a chance to listen to other participants' viewpoints. It helps participants gain confidence by being vocal about their thoughts and opinions. Let's have a look at the types of group discussions. The first type is topic based. Group discussions can be based on case studies or group tasks. Topic based group discussions are based on factual, controversial or abstract topics. Normally they are used in recruitment process of organizations. The second type of group discussions are case studies. Case studies try to simulate re real life situations and have an objective to get you to think about the situation from various angles. Information of the situation is given and participants are asked as a group to resolve the situation. There are no incorrect answers or perfect solutions in case studies. This type of GDs are normally used by management institutes. The third type of group discussions are group tasks. These are an extension of case studies where specific objectives are to be achieved as a group. Group tasks are used by IMT and NMIMS in their selection process. Now let's have a look in detail at topic based group discussions. The three types of topic based discussions are factual topics, controversial topics and abstract topics. Factual topics are about practical things which an ordinary person is aware of. Typically, these are socio-economic topics which may have been in the news lately or could also be unbound by time. These topics give a chance to the candidate to prove that they are aware of their environment. Education policy of India, tourism in India, the Lopal Bill are all examples of factual topics. Controversial topics are argumentative in nature and are meant to generate controversies. Noise level is usually high and there may be tempers flying. Objective is to see the majority of the candidates. Reservations should be removed. Women make better managers are examples of controversial topics. Abstract topics are usually intangible, usually not 
introduced in group discussions but there is still a possibility objective is to test the lateral thinking and creativity of the participants a is an alphabet twinkle twinkle little star the number 10 are examples of abstract topics process of a group discussion 8 to 10 students are taken as a group though in some cases up to 16 people may be included in a group the gd lasts for 10 to 15 minutes for a topic based gd 2 to 3 minutes of thinking may be given though the group is often told to start right away for case studies however above 15 minutes is given evaluation is done by experts usually professors from b schools these people are experts and observe all details even if the gd is chaotic candidates may be seated in a circle or in a rectangular arrangement with or without a table sitting arrangements may be prefixed discussions may be stopped at the set time even earlier conclusion may be asked for a written or oral summary may be asked for at the end from each candidate now let's have a look at the evaluation criteria for group discussions personality includes smartness cheerfulness enthusiasm attitude and confidence of the participants next comes communication skills which includes interpersonal skills body language and the aggressive and assertive communication knowledge includes subject matter relevance and depth leadership includes giving direction to the group in terms of content analytical skill includes thinking logically and rationally persuasion skills include the ability to convince other participants without being aggressive lastly creativity includes thinking out of the box evaluation criteria for group discussions can be divided in four broad areas content communication skills group dynamics and leadership let's have a look in detail at all of these four areas content is a combination of knowledge and ability to create logical arguments on basis of that knowledge communication skills besides listening evaluators observe your ability to express ideas clearly and concisely building on others points summing up the discussion made by the entire group group dynamics evaluators observe participants willingness to listen and discuss various points ability to appreciate good points made by the others ability to disagree politely and summarize leadership evaluators evaluate on basis of who initiates the discussion allows others to express their views and channels discussions to a probable decision let's have a look at preparation for group discussions have you heard yourself saying this post participating in a group discussion i couldn't finish i couldn't start someone else dominated the gd nobody let me speak someone got sarcastic i didn't understand the topic here is how we can better prepare for group discussions content develop subject knowledge on current affairs general awareness and business trends structure arguments for and against on selected topics considering both sides to the argument plan for short and crisp topics display behavioral traits leadership by showing direction to the group wherever group moves away from the topic coordinate the efforts of participants assertiveness is displayed when you put your point to the group in a very positive and confident manner listening skills can be displayed by striking a proper balance between expressing your ideas and imbibing suggestions creativity is reflected when you put across new idea such that it is discussed at length by the group practice GD skills cannot be learned from books. Get into practice groups. Get skill people to observe and give feedback. Spend a lot of time analyzing each group discussion performance. Plan specific improvements. We hear discussions in a college canteen, in train, at the bus stop, during a meeting or anywhere where people come together. Before starting a group discussion, let's remember to ask ourselves. Can we disagree without being disagreeable? can we be analytical without being critical can we be assertive without being aggressive 
can we listen and not just speak let's have a look at do's and don'ts of a group discussion having a look at the do's first respect the contribution of other speakers speak pleasantly listen well to the ideas of other speakers you will learn something learn to disagree politely respect that others have different views think about your contribution before you speak try to stick to the discussion topic your body language should be open and friendly agree and acknowledge anything interesting stay with the topic if the discussion does waver bring it back on the topic by saying that's an interesting point can we come back to it later try to speak clearly don't whisper having a look at the don'ts in a group discussion don't take offense if a person disagrees with you don't ridicule the contribution of others by using comments like that's stupid that's ridiculous or you're wrong don't try to intimidate any another speaker don't use loud or angry tone others will not want to listen to you if you are being aggressive don't use aggressive gestures like finger pointing and table thumping try not to dominate the discussion confident speakers should allow others a chance to speak avoid drawing too much on personal experience don't interrupt or talk over another speaker listening to others earns you the right to be heard be prepared with some of the topics keep yourself updated on current affairs listen to the given topic carefully structure your points on the sheet provided be assertive not dominating try to maintain a balanced tone in your discussion and analysis try to remember the names of the participants in the gd when you are targeting individuals address them with the names summarize the discussion if the group has not reached a conclusion initiate the gd initiate gd only when you understood the topic clearly and have some knowledge allow others to speak do not interrupt anyone while speaking even if you don't agree with his or her wait for your chance speak clearly use simple words while speaking don't be too aggressive if you are disagreeing with someone positive attitude be confident do not try to dominate anyone keep positive body language show interest in discussion formal dressing no fancy and funny dressing you should be comfortable while speaking in a let's have a look at some of the myths about group discussion you should speak more which is not true you should try to dominate the discussion which is not true again you should not project yourself in style it is not necessary to always speak in favor of the topic it is not necessary for you to make others agree to your point let's have a look at a few frequently asked questions on group discussion is there time given for preparation after the topic is given and before starting the group discussion usually some time about 2 to 5 minutes is given to collect one's thought but there could be instances where this does not happen so it is not it is best not to bank on this should i address the panel or the group members don't ever make the mistake of addressing the panel members while the gd is on the gd is between you and the other members not the panel members you must avoid even looking at the panel members while the gd is in progress just ignore their existence what is the sitting arrangement like it could be semi circular or circular or sitting al alongside in a rectangular table depending upon the venue it is best not to bother about trivial issues like this which you have no control over how should i address the other group members if you are initiating the discussion you could do this by collectively collectively addressing the group as friends subsequently you could use names if the group has had a round of self introduction prior to starting the group discussion and you remember the names or use pronouns like he or she suppose i have a lot to say on the topic should i say all of it you will not be looked upon favorably if you keep speaking all the time and do not listen to anyone else contrary to the misconception the person who talks the most is not necessarily the one who's judged the best 
quality and not the quantity of your contribution counts. Should I encourage others to speak up? Do not directly put someone who is consistently silent on the spot by asking him or her to speak up. But if someone has been trying to speak and has a good point but is cut off constantly, you may encourage him or her to continue with her or point. Are the group members supposed to keep track of the time or will the panel keep track? It would be good if you are conscious of the time, but not to the point of getting so distracted looking at your watch that you do not contribute to the discussion. Is there any particular sitting arrangement which is favorable to the participants? If the participants are asked to sit in a circle or a semicircle, one position is as good as another. But if you are asked to sit on either side of a rectangular table, then choose a position as close to the center as possible. Should we begin the GD by appointing a leader amongst ourselves? No, you should not. Leadership in a GD is established implicitly through one's performance in a GD. I feel strongly about an issue. Should I voice my feelings? It is important to be cool and emotionally objective in a GD. If you react emotionally, you are likely to lose control over yourself during the group discussion. Be calm and logical, not emotional in a group discussion. What is the right time to enter a group discussion to ensure that I am heard properly? In any group discussion, there are crests and troughs during the discussion. Crest is when the noise level is at its peak. Troughs are when there is almost total silence. Ideally, you should enter the group discussion during the trough period. But in competitive group discussions, crests occur often and troughs may not at, at all occur. In such cases, enter the group discussion irrespective of the noise level provided you have a point to make. Can I use technical terms or jargon which is clear to me but not to the group? If you have to use technical terms, do not use abbreviations. After mentioning the full term, explain it to the group. It is quite likely that other participants of the group have a different academic background than you. Make sure you all are on a level playing field. Is it beneficial to be the first speaker in a group discussion? Being the first speaker is a high-risk, high-return strategy. If you can make a good opening statement, which is relevant and sets the tone for the group discussion, it will go in your favor. However, if you speak for the sake of speaking, not really having anything pertinent to say, it will be remembered and will go against you. How critical is my fluency in English to my performance? Command over English is certainly advantageous but will not compensate for lack of good content. If your content is good, then even if your English might not be great, you must speak it out rather than be inhibited by lack of good English. You will get credit for soundness of ideas. How necessary is it to use examples for illustrating an idea? Use of examples is helpful in elaborating your point and helping others understand your idea better. But remember to keep it short and simple because in a competitive GD, nobody has the patience to listen to a long, drawn-out example. How much or for how long should I participate? In a 20-minute GD with 10 to 12 participants, try and participate at least 4 times with each entry lasting at least 25 to 30 seconds. You could participate more depending on your comfort level and the need for participation. Is it good to be humorous in a GD? Depends on the situation. In a GD that is fairly relaxed, it may be acceptable. But in competitive situations where participants are tensed up, your attempts at humor may fall flat. What do I do if someone else has already said what I want to say? To avoid such situation, Speak up in the first 4-5 to five minutes of the GD, else you have two choices. Agree with the point made by that person and add to it to broaden the scope of the argument. Or drop the point and think of fresh points. How is aggression taken and measured in a group discussion? The moment you notice people reacting to you negatively or strongly, 
you may take it that you are being too aggressive the degree of the reaction is the measure of your aggression what level of aggression is seen acceptable there is a very thin line between aggression and assertiveness you should always aim to sound assertive and not stubborn will i be quizzed about my or others participation in the gd you may be asked about others other participants response or views therefore it helps to be alert all through the gd is it true that the gd is used as an elimination technique rather than as a selection tool depends on the institute in most premier institutes or companies it is used as a selection tool not as an elim elimination technique is motivating other people in the group to speak looked upon favorably this depends on how it is done if you openly request someone to speak you may be putting the other person in a difficult spot it is better to use other means of motivation such as agreeing with a halting speaker or adding on to their points or supporting and giving them direction can the moderator stop or cut short the gd much before the stipulated time is over this may happen if the gd becomes too noisy and if the level of discussion deteriorates do i have to be cautious about other participants feelings on sensitive issues like religion caste etc you certainly do insensitivity to others displays a lack of maturity and viciousness it will act against your favor is it all right to ask pointed question to other participants during a group discussion it is all right to ask questions for the purpose of clarification but not for the purpose of playing the devil's advocate and proving them wrong by playing the devil's advocate you hamper the flow of the gd pointed questions unsettle the other participant are we expected to stick to a line of thought or can we come up with something radical by all means you can it would demonstrate your creativity and originality just make sure it is relevant to the topic what do i do if one member is very stubborn and aggressive in such a situation you could use any of the following methods either ignore him and address the other members of the group or be assertive and tell him that his argument is faulty or point out to him that his point is well taken and that the group must progress further what are the acceptable ways of interrupting somebody else so that i may make my point you can interrupt in any of the following ways by saying excuse me but i feel that what you're saying isn't in universally true or yes i agree with your idea and i would like to add on to it is an end summary absolutely essential no if the group has not reached a conclusion then it would be good if someone puts the whole discussion into perspective by summarizing but if there isn't sufficient time a summary may be avoided let's have a look at the summary of the entire video group discussions make complex and difficult tasks into parts and steps group discussion makes to plan ahead and manage time it helps in refining the understanding through discussion and explanation it helps in giving and receiving feedback on performance group discussions result in stronger communication skills individuals can can solve the problems on their own they give the ability to delegate roles and responsibilities group discussions enhances knowledge and skills of an individual group discussions also help in building a rapport and identity with other group members group discussions help in developing own voice and perspectives in relation to peers thank you for watching the video and if you liked it do hit the like button share it and subscribe thank you